What up, dogs? Has anyone here heard of the reptilian conspiracy? You know, that logical debate about world leaders being part of a race of shape-shifting lizards? Don't worry, that's not today's video. I only did a conspiracy video yesterday, and I'm still not finished with them. Yeah, that's right. Come fucking get me, you freaks. But I must admit, I never believed in the reptilian thing myself until I saw this guy. Hello, YouTube. You see, it's gotta be a shape-shifting lizard, right? Seems odd that it would've picked such a fucked up shape, but it's living proof! So, this week we're talking about feminism, which I'm very excited about, and... And me too, matey! This shit is my bread and butter! This is just a PSA to whoever's viewing this, um, I'm putting this on Transtastic and on my personal channel. No one cares, moving on. Feminism. Yay! I'm so excited, I'm such a nerd. Uh, I love talking about feminism. I love engaging people in conversations about feminism. So if you wanna have a conversation with me about this, let's talk about it. I'm like totally more than willing to talk to people about this. Are you sure about that, buddy? Absolutely. Well, okay. You heard him, guys. If you'd like to leave a question or engage in a discussion, you know where the link is. But don't be a dick to him, otherwise it makes me think I did a bad job. So I'm going to start with debunking two myths that I think are associated with feminism. First one is that feminists are man-haters. This one always comes up when you lot do your debunkings, and it's always first on the list too. I mean, I know why I hear it all the time, because third wave feminism hates men. But if you guys are hearing it all the time too, well shit, maybe there's some truth to it, you know? Hating men is actually the opposite of misogyny, it's called misandry, so... That's actually another thing, it's not feminism. You know, dude, things can be more than one thing, yeah? Like the National Socialist Party was about putting Germans first, but it was also about gassing the Jews, you know? But you don't hear people saying, no, no, anti-Semitism is the opposite of Semitism. That's another thing, it's not the Third Reich. That doesn't happen, mate. But feminists are against sexism, they're not against men. Well, because that would be sexist, wouldn't it? And they'd never do that. Uh, sexism uh, definitely affects men too, that's totally a video for another time because I could go on and on and on about the ways that sexism affects men. I can't even speak because of all of the examples I can think of right now. Bullshit! This channel has been going since 2010, right? Now I just trawled through all of their fucking videos since this one was released. Not a damn thing on sexism against men. Not a damn thing! What happened to all those ideas you had just then? Not as important as that video you did on cats, eh? Fucking shape-shifting lizard. How about you change into someone who's not a fucking liar? So if you happen to be sexist and you are also a man, my dislike for you doesn't have anything to do with you being a man. It's because of the way that you view the world, so... But if you're sexist and female, that's fine, is it? Don't fucking trail off with so, you fucking douche bubble. I want answers! That's just a thing. That's the level of explanation we're gonna get today, is it? I don't know why I'm so disappointed. Like, what the fuck did I expect? A half-formed brain can only make half-formed thoughts. The second myth is that feminism is only for women. Man. Feminist. Lizard. Terrarium. Myth debunked. No, seriously, if you are a human being... If? Fuck, I was only joking about the reptile thing and now he's actually making me consider he's a fucking lizard person. I, I just don't know what to think. Who acknowledges that global gender equality is a thing and wants it to be different, then... Congrats, you're a feminist. You take that back, you piece of shit! No, seriously, he just said if you acknowledge that global gender equality is a thing and you want it to be different, then you're a feminist. I swear, I've been saying that all along, man. We have gender equality, but they want women to be above men. Confirmed! And you can't take that back now because it's on the internet. So now I'm going to get into the reasons that I am a feminist. I'm a feminist because as a society, when we talk about rape, responses often are, what was she wearing? And she was asking for it. Oh, not this bullshit again. Maybe instead of saying, here are the reasons I'm a feminist, you could have said, here's some shit all us femtards pedal no matter how many times it's proven to be false. Do you know what? 
if people do ask that now, it's because there are so many false fucking claims. So how about for every false allegation of rape, we release one rapist from prison? See if that changes anything. Because globally, only 24% of senior management roles are held by women. 24% is a large number when you consider some will just fuck off to a protest every time someone rings the vagina bell. The only people stopping women from getting these jobs are the women in question. And men who are better qualified or suited to the job. But who wants one of those when you can employ someone who may decide to take maternity leave on full pay and require someone else to fill their position while they're gone? Sounds like a fucking bargain, doesn't it? because women are taught to value their appearance more than anything else. Yeah, but it's me who has to do all the unlearning, isn't it? Because 67% of illiterate adults worldwide are women. Oh yeah, learn how to read so you can catch up on all those body shaming articles from women's magazines we were on about. Why would they do that, man? These are the happy ones. Because in college environments, plagiarism is taken more seriously than rape. Because plagiarism is an academic issue. Rape is something for the fucking police. Because influential people in conservative media, such as Eric Erickson, say that a woman's purpose on this earth is to be complimentary to her husband. Alright, but who takes someone with two first names all that seriously? Eric Erickson? Fuck off, mate! And anyway, I could rattle off a list of influential feminist figures who advocate for male castration, but let's be fair, we've only got ten minutes, haven't we? Because women have impossible standards to live up to. There are endless ways that women can have the wrong body. They're encouraged to get toned and get rid of fat, but are then criticized for being too muscular or bulky. They're encouraged to have bigger breasts and butt, but then are criticized for being slutty and told to cover up. Oh, fine. Women, stop being bitches to other women. All right, next. Because 1% of titled land in the world is owned by women. Land? You're bringing land into the- Motherfucker, I haven't got any land. I live above a fucking shop. Of all the arguments, you chose ownership of land. I mean, fair play for being original at the very least, but fucking hell, dude. Because when women report street harassment or catcalling, they're told it shouldn't make them uncomfortable and that- they need to take it as a compliment. Or that being catcalled is not in any way illegal and the term street harassment has been overused and diluted so much that it's damn near a fucking joke. I think you should have included being told to shut the fuck up in there as well. I think that's an important one. Because 99.3% of all women and girls in Egypt have been subjected to sexual violence. Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, we got a bar chart coming up next. That's exciting. So all of this is in Egypt, yeah? And that's why you're a feminist. Has that helped the situation at all? Or can we both agree that your being a feminist is fucking useless? Because between 2001 and 2012, more women in the US were killed by abusive husbands and boyfriends than the number of people killed during the war on terror. Interesting comparison. Let me do one. There were more women killed by their partners in 2012 than in every single episode of Star Trek Voyager. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Because instead of saying you lost weight, we say you look great. And what do we say to people when they've gained weight? You're looking a bit chubby there, Fatty McFatterson. How about you run your ass around the block a few times before people start thinking the moon has stopped orbiting? That's what I'd say anyway. Because even though the Equal Pay Act was passed 50 years ago to close the wage gap between women and men, Women are still paid 77 cents to every man's dollar. No, 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 fuck you. Fuck you. Do you know what? I wish there fucking was a wage gap now. I'd fucking push you off it. Because the amount of women quoted about the 2012 election in the US is staggeringly less than men in major newspapers, magazines, websites, and other media outlets, including those quoted on women's rights issues. Right, so fucking what? No one is quoting women! Fucking call the oppression police! Stop spouting the same old bullshit about the fucking wage gap and you might get in print! Because 94% of all writing awards at the Oscars have gone to men. So all the men should not write anything fucking awesome for a year to give a woman a chance, yeah? That wouldn't be patronizing. If you think awards should be based on gender and not merit, I don't think you can fuck off hard enough, mate. Because we all say men and women more than we say women and men. Oh, for fuck's sake, what a fucking stupid thing to raise as an issue. What about women and children? That's always in that order. Won't someone think of the children? This is fucking ridiculous. Can we go back to the ownership of land? 
because less than a quarter of all the world's countries have had a female head of state. I'm not being funny, mate, but the first female prime minister in the UK did a lot of things that pissed off a lot of people. I'm not saying that was because she was a woman. If anything, she might have actually been a lizard. But it's a good argument for choosing the right person for the job, not the right genitals. I'd be happy with a female prime minister, provided she is voted in based on merit, not by default. Because media's standards of beauty emphasize society's expectations for people who are on opposite ends of the gender spectrum. The people who don't comply with these stereotypes and gender roles are essentially erased, or they're bullied into suicide or self-harm. That does sound shit. But if you're gonna kill yourself over a magazine cover, I'd say you were pretty much looking for an excuse to kick that bucket anyway. I'm not bothered in the slightest by society's idea of beauty. It seems superficial and shallow, and I have no time for it. I'm much more interested in my idea of it. But it does take someone with thick skin to swim against the tide, and if you're struggling to stay afloat, maybe it's not for you. Because in 10 countries in the world, women are legally obligated to blindly obey their husband. Even if they're told to take their own life, they could be thrown in prison if they don't. Well, that's new information to me. I'm going to assume it's true because I can only imagine the shit I would have to sift through if I type that into Google. So we'll just take it as gospel and ask, what has your being a feminist done to remedy that situation? If the answer is nothing, or even it raises awareness, then you might as well have done a video on being a fan of The Walking Dead because the polar ice caps are melting because women's bodies are constantly objectified in the media. Commercials are using women's bodies to sell things. Do you know, I really fancy a burger right now. Is anyone else getting that? There's a preoccupation with trans women's genitals. Well, yeah, of course there is. It's like driving past a car crash. You want to know what the fuck happened. Movies tell us men and women can't be friends because men could never see her as anything but sexual. Oh shit, well I should stop talking to me mum then before it gets weird. Normal Halloween costumes are sexed up for women. Yeah, because some people like to look sexy. The only woman I've seen dress up as a giant fucking ham for Halloween was in a show called Community. Breast cancer awareness campaigns are sexualized to save second base, but breastfeeding in public is disgusting. Breast cancer is all about women and fails on every occasion to mention men are at risk from it too. Breast cancer charities make more money from donations than those for prostate cancer. Breast cancer has blocks of time on national calendars dedicated to raising money and awareness. The most I see for prostate cancer is the boys on Soccer Saturday wearing a little pin on their lapel, and I think Robbie Williams did an advert about five years ago where he grabbed his crotch. So tell me again how feminism isn't just for women. Because out of 95,000 rape cases a year in England, about 15,000 are recorded by police. Actually, most were recorded by me and can be seen on my website. 2,910 face court proceedings and only 1,070 are convicted. So take another look at that and work out how many of those must have been false claims then. There's your rape problem, mate. Because between 2009 and 2013, 35% of women's job gains have been in low-wage jobs, such as retail, food service, and housekeeping. Oh, okay. Retail, food services, and housekeeping. All of them are, well, what's the word? Part-time jobs, right? And I'm assuming you mean housekeeping as an actual job, not being a housewife or a mum, because I fucking hate that. Like, oh, I'm a full-time mother. Oh, so you haven't got a job then. That's what you meant. Because one in every five women in America have been the victims of an attempted or a completed rape and 12% of those women are under 12 years old. Looking at the link you provided for that took me to a little fact sheet. Very nice. Checked out the reference they used on the fact sheet and it's a fucking survey. Like, hey, have you ever been raped? Why, yes. Yes, I have. If these were crime statistics, I'd be with you, but a fucking survey? Hell no. So those are just some statistics and societal ideals that oh and surveys you forgot surveys are really important to recognize when we're viewing the world i know that there have been points where i've tried to engage different people who don't really believe that feminism should exist or that women are still oppressed to this day and age in the west no they're not and when i say these things individually 
um, they're kind of able to excuse it or write it off. Oh shit, he's become aware of my presence! I better pack this one in before he sheds his skin and ask me to sign a petition or something. Anyway, there we go! The same old arguments again and again, thus proving this might actually be the most retarded sect of humans to walk the face of the earth. Together they may march, but individually they're just fucking retards. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, the only way to battle the atrocities in the Middle East is to tell everyone you're a feminist.